Uh, so today's question comes from Miguel, who is curious about a situation that he's run into that used to be just standard across the board, kind of normal jujitsu gym association behavior. It's not really anymore. Uh, so a lot of you guys that are old school like me and people that are even older older school than me will understand exactly what I'm talking about in a second. Um, but basically, his situation is that recently, Miguel... He's been training for a few years. Recently, Miguel was out traveling, right? He was seeing family and stuff like that in another city. And while he was out traveling, he was like, man, you know what? I really like this jiu-jitsu stuff. I got some training gear with me. Let's go try another gym. Let's just see what they got going on. Goes into the gym, has a good experience, has a good training session, loves it. Comes back home, and then eventually he eventually comes back to his home and his home gym. Well, his coach finds out, his coach back home, finds out that he trained at another gym while he was out of town. And his coach ended up sending him like a message or a text or something like that, scathing, just super like, how dare you? How dare you not be loyal to me? Da 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 da. You know, if you want to train somewhere else, like you need to ask for permission or whatever, this kind of stuff, right? Like this control thing. He got mad about it. So Miguel's just curious. He's like, well, why is he so angry at me? Like, I didn't. I didn't know this was a thing. And so Miguel sends me the message. And again, many of you guys that have been around for a long time, and I'll share some stories in a bit. Many of you guys who have been around for a long time know exactly what I'm talking about with that old school like mentality of like, these are my students. You are my students. You don't get to train anywhere without my approval, that kind of nonsense. Um, and so again, Miguel sends me the message like, man, what, would, what do I do in this situation? He's like, should I leave? Should I train here? I like the gym, but I don't like being treated like this. Just looking for some perspectives. So Miguel, thanks for the question, brother. And, um, you know, from the sound of it, bro, and again, I don't know your coach, so again, take it for that. But that, to me, whenever I've seen a coach do that, it screams insecure, right? It seems It screams insecure behavior. And the thing about it is, is when you're dealing with an insecure person, they typically have a proclivity for towards finding things that confirm their poor self-opinion of themselves, right? And you got to think, most of us get into jiu-jitsu and martial arts because we want to make ourselves stronger. It's usually not from a good place, right? When we get into jiu-jitsu, what do we do? We wanted to learn how to not get picked on and stuff like that, lose weight and get in shape, whatever it is. Same thing with for lifting weight. And so you have to you have to do some deep work to like get over all that baggage. But for me, what it sounds like is you have an insecure person and they're looking at it from the wrong view completely because, you know, from my view, it's like I have this student who I've basically given this, this obsession with this thing called jiu-jitsu that I have and I've shared it with them. And then now when they go on their family trips, they're like, they have to go train because they like it so much. Good job on my part for being a good coach. That's how I would see it. But the way that your coach sees it, again, from this what I assume to be an insecure place, is they how dare they train with a what? If they don't like my training, is my training not good enough for them? Like, why does he have to leave and go somewhere else to train? Or, you know, that kind of thing. That's the way that I interpret it. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. But that's the way that I see it. And that's the way that I've kind of seen it happen in the past. And I've seen this happen numerous times from friends, and it's happened with me as well. I remember one of my buddies, who I'm not going to name because I don't want to trash anybody's this or that, but just saying what it is. One of my buddies had a gym, um, and I remember years ago he was I think he was a I think he was a brown belt at the time. This is you know almost 10, 12 years back, and so he had a um, a gym in a small town, and he's a brown belt, and he was traveling up in New York, and when he was in New York. You know, he's up in New York and he saw that he could go train with Marcelo Garcia, one of the greatest jiu-jitsu practitioners of all time. So what is he going to do? He's going to go train with Marcelo Garcia. Even got to roll with the guy. Loved it. He was like, man, I had a great experience. That was so much fun. Heck yeah. Posted about it on social media. He was like, man, I got to train with Marcelo Garcia today. All happy. Comes home. Comes home to a phone call from the head of his association Try up an old school guy and was like, how dare you train with someone? If you're going to train with someone outside of my association, you have to talk to me first. You know, and again, this is a guy where he's like operating a school by himself. And you're like, like huh, what are you talking about, bro? Like, this is crazy. You know, and again, maybe that's just the American in us. We like, we don't like that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe it's more common in other cultures and stuff like that. Huh. I had a situation like that as well. Years ago when went with my first coach, I remember... I felt the same thing. I would go travel and go to some of the open mats and some of the training sessions in the city. Now, the way that I looked at it back then was that that was my team, right? That's, that's my team. We're training together. That's my team. I'm going here to sample what, what else is out there to test my style against other styles to kind of see how it works. Maybe pick up a few new tricks from other people so that I can bring it back to my team. That was kind of the idea. 
You know, I was like, I just want to get all this stuff. And so I can make myself better because if I can make myself better, I can make everybody else around us better. That's the way I perceived it. But the way that my coach perceived it was me not being loyal or potentially leaving. And again, there was a lot of things that were said that sort of made me leave. And with my buddy that was running the gym, he left that association. And I don't know that that was like the main reason, but it, it was a big one, right? And so in both cases, we left because we didn't like being felt like we were being micromanaged or under the thumb of someone. For anyone that works in like a corporate job, what's one of the worst things that we've had to deal with? Because I used to work in a corporate job, right? Like feeling like you're under someone's thumb. You're being micromanaged. I feel like you have someone breathing down your neck. It's not a good feeling. And again, jiu-jitsu coaches, like it's a bad idea to operate in that way because again, the harder you try to hold on to someone, the more they want to get away from you, right? Like people, I said this to my wife years ago when we got into a relationship and maybe I'm kind of going all over the place with this, but whatever. You guys enjoy the long talk sometimes. So I told my wife, I was like, hey, listen, when we, um, in our relationship, I was like, look, I don't want to be on a leash. Like, I don't want to like have a short leash because sometimes I've been in relationships where women were very like clingy and tight. And I was like, ah, get away, right? It made me want to drive away. It's like, just give me a big yard. We draw the boundaries together and we get a lot of, I get a lot of room to play with. And I'll be like a big dog that gets to run around the yard and I get to feel like I have some freedom, but really we know that this is where the lines are drawn. And so again, you know, you don't want to be too tight with your students. You want to put them on a short leash, right? Because again, a lot of times people have just that repulsed sort of feeling, just my experience with people. And again, you got to be careful that you don't interpret what they're doing as something it's not. And so anyway, going back to you, Miguel, instead of talking to the coaches, um, it's up to you, bro. You do what you want to do. Personally, in that situation, mm, I would probably look around at other gyms in the area and just see what's going on with them. You know, like you don't have to talk to anybody. You can just go in and train, keep it hush hush. Just get a feel for what the other gyms in your area might have going on if there are some in your area. And if there are and you like them and you're like, I kind of feel like this vibe's a little bit better, then go up to your coach and talk to them and let them know you're leaving. That's one thing that I do regret is that when I left my first coach, I didn't talk to him and man to man talk to him face to face. I should have done that. Um, I was just trying to avoid the, con- the conflict because I knew it was going to be a big deal, but I should have done it and I didn't. And so again, if you were in that, if I was in that situation again, I'd make sure I talked to him face to face and I would do the same thing. So if you decide to leave and you feel a certain feeling to it, make sure you just talk to him and say, Hey man, I just want to let you know I'm just leaving and uh, I wanted to face you man to man about it. It may be uncomfortable, but I think that you'll feel better with yourself for, by doing it. And I know, I know someone's going to comment like, you don't do, you don't need to do anything because like you're a paying customer. I know they're a paying customer. But again, we also know that there's a relationship that develops from training. That's not just like you went down to the McDonald's and got a burger. And obviously Miguel's asking this question because of the relationship and the bond that he feels with this coach. Um, and again, if you really want to patch that thing up with the coach and you don't want to leave, then you should talk to him and be like, look, bro, like I don't like this. And just let them know how you feel. So again, this way, if they want to, if they want to keep things going, they can then make the adjustment with their behavior. But if not, and they want to lose you as a student and a also paying customer, well, then they can do that as well. So anyway, long video, but Miguel, hopefully that helps you, brother. And guys, I'll talk to you next time.